Hello again, everyone. Um, my name is Ron from the International Trade Council, and um, our next pitch for today is uh, Mr. Robert Quinn, CEO of Simgen Incorporated. So I will uh, pass the floor to him so he can start his presentation. Go ahead, Robert. Hi, I'm uh, Rob Quinn, uh, CEO of uh, Simgen, <clears throat> and um, give you a bit of background as to you know how we started from. All of this, uh, we used to work in the uh, in the healthcare industry, uh, building kind of the infrastructure of um, delivering information between healthcare payers and uh, providers. And about uh, a few years ago, we saw that the healthcare information exchange market was uh, not going anywhere because uh, healthcare entities don't really want to share their information. Um, Hospitals, you know, want to keep you going to the same hospital and doctors don't get paid for it. Um, and drawing on our, our previous experience in manufacturing arcade games and uh, uh, those sorts of devices and also being lifelong uh, exercisers and having just about every exercise device known to man, we looked and kind of thought, why, why do we have to have such a boring way of doing exercise? <clears throat> and we looked at the arcade game industry and we thought we can make a device that will not only uh, um, allow you to get a workout, a real resistance-based workout, but also to have fun and play video games. And that's why um, we invented SimGym. Um, especially during the COVID crisis now, um, we have less and less people going to a, a regular gym um, to exercise because of the obvious problems. Um, so this is a big opportunity for us, um, but you know, four out of five people don't get the daily recommended amount of exercise, um, and you know, mostly because exercise these days is doing the same thing uh, repetitively over and over and over and over again as you know, form of body maintenance. But you know, with we think that the future of exercise is, is social and interactive, and that's how Sim Gym is a different experience than normal exercise machines. Um, in order to do this, we had to build a fully independent uh, exercise device and video game controller. So unlike normal exercise devices where the motion is repetitive, um, we have completely independent arm and leg motion. Um, we can run, you can jump, you can stomp, you can kick, um, do all these motions, game-related motions, um, as opposed to doing the same repetitive motion over and over again. Um, it took us a couple years to get this to work. Um, we have three patents based on the fully independent arm and leg motion of an exercise machine. Um, and we're uh, about ready to go into production with this. <clears throat> and the cool part about it is um, while you're playing the games, um, we're measuring all of those uh, actions. Um, we actually know the fully amount of work that you're putting into the machine um, because we know the force that's being generated and we know the amount of time and we know the, uh, the amount of distance. Unlike uh, treadmills and other uh, machines that sort of estimate what kind of amount of work you're doing, we actually know the full amount of work. Plus, um, we can dynamically change the resistance instantly. So if you're running uphill in a game, uh, it can be harder than if you're running downhill in a game. Or if you're pushing open a door with a bunch of zombies behind it, um, it's a lot harder than opening a regular door. Um, in addition to this, um, we have a full software suite behind it. Um, part of the business model is to have uh, a subscription-based system, sort of like a Peloton or some of the other ones. But the difference is, is that we're going to be providing uh, continual supply of new and interactive games for people to play. So next year, there'll be uh, new and different things to do with the controller that there weren't this year, whereas pretty much all exercise, current exercise machines do pretty much the same thing um, in a different venue. Um, so in comparison to, you know, once again, to traditional exercise equipment, um, we have uh, a fully independent motion. Um, we're able to adjust the resistance on the fly. Um, we're able to uh, track uh, those things. Our software includes leaderboards, 
Um, also, you can play against people either on the couch or you can play uh, against people, uh, you know, across the continent. Um, you can set up a 7 a.m. appointment with your friend across the country and compete against him or her um, any time that you feel like it. Um, so um, in order to prove that what we, uh, what we thought uh, was good was actually a reasonable and uh, scalable business, we've taken uh, our device out and given over 1,500 test rides uh, places like um, South by Southwest and uh, some of the fitness shows um, and other places. And the feedback has been universally positive. People are always saying, you know, when can I get a hold of this? Um, our surveys after people have taken a test try have said that people, 57% uh, of people be interested in purchasing. Um, parents have said things like, we don't let our kids play video games, we let them do this. Um, it is especially kid friendly um, up to a you know, minimum age that people can actually reach the pedals. Um, and we're working with several different game designers to bring all sorts of cool, fun games and things for people to do uh, on our device. Um, this uh, device also has applications uh, in other areas, which we plan to go to in the future. Um, you know, currently, our first uh, market is uh, home fitness. Um, also, we'll have app, uh, applicable applicability to uh, fitness clubs once those get back up and running. Um, we've had numerous uh, people in, uh, interested in uh, using it for rehabilitation, um, especially for things like stroke victims or knee replacements, where we can actually measure the amount of distance traveled and the amount of force. We can put unequal force in there to allow both limbs to do the same motion, but at different resistance levels. Um, and of course, uh, you know, the possibility of going into things like eSports uh, is huge. Uh, imagine if eSports actually had some sort of physical component to it. Um, our revenue streams, potential revenue streams are from the controller sales, uh, monthly subscriptions, <coughs> um, and tele-rehabilitation. Um, so we plan to start with our in-home models um, and then move into uh, professional, more larger models in, uh, for uh, gyms and uh, fitness clubs, um, and then move into the tele-rehabilitation area. Um, we've built a really good team to, uh, to do this. Uh, I myself have uh, started, I worked at uh, three or four startups in the past. Uh, my co-founder, Ivan, uh, and I have worked together for over a decade in the healthcare industry. Um, we brought on a uh, biomechanical engineer to help us with the uh, biomechanic aspects. And uh, um, another co-founder, uh, Glenn, uh, has extensive experience in sales and business development. Um, so I hope this has piqued your interest in our uh, adventure and uh, look forward to uh, hearing from you and talking more. Thanks. Thank you for that um, presentation, um, Robert. So if there is any question, uh, you can type in your question on the q &A tab. It's on the session and then uh, q and tab. You can post your question there. Um, yes, actually, um, Robert has uh, a virtual booth, so you can visit him there just to answer Rob's question. You can also direct message him if you have any questions. Oh, okay. Um, will I be in the arena next? Um, if I can figure out where the arena is. <laughs> it's on the left side of the screen, um, below um, lounge. There's an arena. Just look, okay. look for your um, company name there. Um, oh, in the in the booth. Yeah. Okay. I will. I can be there. Yes. Yep. Any other questions? All right. So I think that's all for um, the participants. Um, again, if you have any other questions about this presentation or about the product, 
you can definitely visit uh, Robert on his virtual booth or you can directly message him and ask for the contact information. Any final words about your presentation, Robert? Um, no, thanks. All right. So thank you so much for your time and um, have a good day. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.